Hello YouTube, welcome back, SpadeMC Gamer here, and today I'm back with another episode on the server, of course. And guys, in today's episode, um, we're going to work on getting our Kranidos up higher level, of course, and um, I did see this guy, actually. Hold on, this guy is... Oh, this guy's a fire leader, guys, so we're going to put the XP share on Kranidos right here, and we're going to go with Golduck, and we're going to take this guy out. Um, he's level 40, so this could be... Ooh, okay, wheezing. Not that easy. Um, Hydro Pump might might um, might get him in one. It should get him in one. Um, but this should be decent experience for our Kranidos. He should level up really quickly. Um, yeah, level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 levels right there. Um, <laughs> I knew that would happen really quickly. Um, so another coughing. Uh, try Zen Headbutt this time maybe. See if this fixes it up. Um, see if this works even. I don't know. Fix it up. Um, okay, so these guys actually are really, really handy, these trainers. Because sometimes they can have six Pokemon. And if they have six Pokemon and then you have, you know... Like I have a... There you go. There's a few more levels. So he has Pursuit, Focus, Energy, Leer, Headbutt. Ooh, okay. Take down. We want to get rid of Leer. Yeah, that's pretty crappy. Um, okay, so he's a Gravelite. We'll use Water Pulse. Having like a strong water type Pokemon is really effective against these guys. You can get some really good XP. There you go. Kranidos got 1000 and something XP there. Okay, so he got from level 1 to level 16. Um, in just that one fire leader guy. So that's pretty handy. Um, let me see right here. What's his moves? Oh god. Okay, so his moves are Pursuit. And that's Dark type. So that could be handy. Takedown and Headbutt. So he's got some okay moves right there. Enough to be going on with for the moment anyway. And why is that guy so low health? I'm going to take him out with Kranidos. No, come back. Come back. There we go. Okay, so we're going to just... Because he's such low health, we're just going to headbutt him. Um, I'm going to actually warp back to the spawn right here. And then I'm going to go from the spawn to the... To the... Um, to the... Stay, you Hold on, guys. Uh, ST, oh, that's spelled that wrong, god damn. Uh, to the uh, snow biome, I think, or the, yeah, the snowy biome. Simply because Kranidos has a dark type move, and this is going to be full of um, psychic type Pokemon here in the snow biome over here. So it's going to be perfect to level him up on his own a little bit, so we can actually take that off. And we can even put, oh god damn, no, oh, I hate when that happens. Even put a lucky egg on him right there. That's going to be handy. Please pick that up. Oh god, no. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Okay, we got it. Okay, guys, so... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do this real... <laughs> I can't walk past it. Watch this. I bet you, first time... If I don't get it first time... If I don't get it first time, guys... I'm not a pro. <laughs> but everyone knows I'm a pro. Come on. Pro for the win. <laughs> um, I could've just, like, flown up here, but anyway... Um, let's fly over to the ice biome right here. And it looks like there's a lot of guys running around here as well. So that's going to increase the spawns. Um, so let me see. I don't have my Jolteon with me, so that's not going to help me. Uh, he's level 19, a bit high for my guy. A bit high for level 16. He'll be able to, uh, he'll have the speed and everything on me. So I won't go for him. Uh, let me just get into a better area right over here. Oh god, I'm flying again. I should really disable fly. There we go. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. There should be some... Well, Abra would have been okay, but... There should be some... What I'm looking for here is, like, drowsies. Drowsies. There should be some drowsies around here, guys. Drowsies are perfect. Absolutely perfect for what I'm doing. The right levels, like... Let's see if we can get this Abra. There we go, Abra. Okay, he's only level 6, so that's not going to give me much, but... Uh, pursuit. Let's go Pursuit right here. And see what kind of damage we can do. Okay, so guys, um, I have to go to the electric gym next, which is that's why I'm I have got fly gone out. Um, I need to take down the electric gym is the next one, and god damn, it's not. Oh god, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. Um, let me see. Actually, let me use fly gone right here in this pillow swine. Come on, pillow swine. There we go, and let's use crunch. Because that's super effective, I think. Pretty sure it's super effective. Um, but Crunch right here on this Pillow Swine. Pillow Swine is, is really... Um, 
Pillow Twines are tough, I must say, they're real tough. They are not easy to kill. Well, you use mud sports, so that's grand. But, like, they, they can dish out the damage, I'm telling you. Pillow Swines are no pushovers. Um, but it looks like I'll be able to get them here. My um, my Flygon's almost level 50. This might even give him level 50, I hope. Um, yep, yeah, there we go, level 50. Level 50 shiny Flygon. That's pretty nice, but he's going to need to get at least another 10, if not 20 levels, before we can get to the um, electric gym. So, guys, off camera, I'm going to be constantly leveling him up so if you if you uh if i like come back maybe in an episode or two and he's like five levels more and you're like why is he five levels more you'll know why because i just be leveling him up there's no other way i have to keep keep leveling him up otherwise it's never going to happen so um and let me see let's use crunch on this jinx right here this should kill it yeah there we go super effective um what's this guy saying shadow of something he's probably going to type to me in chat right here um, let's go and see if we can't we still need to find ah there we go wow that's a tiny magnemite oh my god he's so tall so small he is so small <laughs> um okay let's go with Cranidose. and let's hit him with pursuit he's only he's one level higher than us so that might cause some problems but i should be super effective against him yeah, yeah, okay, that did half damage, that's really good, and looked like Kranidos had the uh, speed attack on him there as well. Like the speed, he's better speed. Headbutt, yeah, there we go, perfect, not very effective. And uh, we should be able to take him down, so if you take a Pokemon down that's the same level or higher than you, um, you get real good experience, as you know. So we should be, shouldn't be too bad now leveling up Kranidos, we'll see how much he gets from this. Yeah, he grew a level there, that's pretty cool, because um, he has a, l a lucky egg on him, so that's kind of handy. Lucky eggs are pretty nice. And actually, this is a real good um, experience for Flygon, these Pillow Swines. Real good experience. Um, Flygon. So let's go with Crunch again. We should be able to take this guy out with no with no problems. Hopefully. <laughs> um, crunch. Oh, okay, that did not do much damage. Why did that not do much damage? I need really... I do really need better moves with Flygon. God damn, he's got... His moves are quite terrible. Like, Crunch... Dig hyper beam. Okay, hyper beam is powerful, but it's kind of annoying the way you have to recharge. Crunch is, you know, nothing really special about crunch. And um, same with um, uh, dig. Dig is just kind of average enough move. It's only good if it's if it's if you're super effective against a type. There we go. That did more damage, but it still didn't kill him. God, god damn. Come on, Flygon. Get your act together. Waiting, waiting. He's probably gonna. Okay, no, use mud sport spot whatever that is okay so we should be able to get this pillow swine next move and uh, we should be fine and um, if anyone knows any really 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 good moves flygon can learn please 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 tell me in the in the comments and uh, make sure you say flygon can learn such a move so i know what you're talking about because i do get a lot of comments about random stuff um, and it's kind of hard to dis distinguish what comments are about what so make sure you say flygon can learn whatever x move like whatever it is and um, and let me i want to see if it, i think he, he can probably learn earthquake i know he can learn earthquake so well i don't know but I, i'm assuming he can learn earthquake and um, because i think earthquake is ground or rock or something or something like that and um, maybe not rock but i think it's ground as far as i know so oh hypno 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 is psychic let's have a go against although hypnos are pretty goddamn strong but we're gonna try anyway where do you go there he is oh god hypno Let's do this. God damn. Why have I got Golduck? No. Flygon. Jesus. Okay. Um Oh. Alright guys, welcome back. Um right there there was a server restart or um world save or something anyway, something went on there. So anyway guys, I'm back and what, what was I doing before it restarted? Because it was about ten minutes ago, I had to wait till uh Wait till it came back up again or whatever, but um, or maybe it was probably just my connection. But I was killing pillow swines. That's what I was doing. Let's get our fly gun out and let's take this guy down. Fly. Okay. Let me think. Crunch is pretty much the best move I can use at the moment. Um, I really need some better moves for this guy. They can be pretty powerful fly guns, but sometimes their moves. Well, my guy's moves are pretty pretty bad. But he is shiny, so. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so let me see. That did very little. Well, not very little, but it didn't do great. I bet your pillow swine will be able to do the same damage. Oh, he just keeps using stat effects. And, um, like, stat moves, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but it probably keeps taking my defense down. That's what it probably is. Do you know that? Or, or my attack, probably. That's what I meant to say. Maybe not, though. I don't think it translates from one to another. Although, that nearly killed him, so... Okay, I'm kind of rambling, guys. <laughs> um, but anyway, our Kranidos is getting higher. Um, what level is he on? 17? I think he's on 17. Um, so I'm going to keep leveling him up anyway, guys. And I don't know what we'll use him for, really. We, you know, he's a, he's a fossil. He's pretty cool. So we can um, use him for whatever we want. But there we go. That's another pillow swine in the bag. Um, and let me see. Okay, that's... Oh, load of wool on the ground. How much wool is that? I had three. Now I have ten. Okay, that was someone dropped a load of their wool there, so whatever. They must have been shearing or something with shears, so that's probably they're probably cheating, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I want to see how mon much money I have now, actually, as well. I only have eighty-two thousand. Okay, I'm getting getting low on the money, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to make sure I don't make sure I don't um, spend it all. Spend all my money, but okay. Um, let me see. Does Dragonite have a? No, he does not. I'm gonna put a quick. A quick um, lucky egg on Dragonite there, so we can just actually kill these Sea Kings with Thunder. That way Dragonite will get, you know, more XP and whatnot, uh, Thunder on these guys. Please don't miss Thunder, because Thunder, god damn, Thunder misses way too much. It's so unreliable. I didn't realise only until I started using it more, but um, it does miss so much. Okay, so let's go again. Thunder on the Sea King. This guy has no health, so that's good. Um, re half health even. But uh, okay, so let me see. Six. How much? How much um, XP does this give us? It missed. Of course, it missed. <laughs> it always misses. Thunder is useless in that in that kind of a uh, regard. He probably use like horn attack, fury attack. Okay, that missed. Uh, it'll probably miss again. So I'm just gonna use dragon rush. And um, it should kill him because I'm like 30 levels higher. So let me see. Okay, dragon rush missed as well. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the problem with these like real powerful move guys these real powerful moves I find that they they can actually miss a lot wing attack. We'll just try wing attack. Just I just want to hit them like just just kill them for God's sake Um, come on This is probably gonna be terrible now and it will hit. Oh, it did kill him. Okay, so he didn't gain that much experience I thought he was gonna gain more actually Um, but anyway, he didn't gain that much, but that doesn't really matter. He's just kind of Level 62, he's quite high anyway. Um, it wouldn't be too hard to get up to level 70, which my which 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 my goal look is at. Um, for the electric gym though, goal look is going to be completely useless. So, what what's um, Dragonite's secondary type? Okay, he's dragon dragon flying. Um, what type, guys? I want to I want you also to tell me in the comments. I know I I, I often ask you guys to tell me so much. So much stuff. It must be hard to tell me. Uh, but uh, what what type are super effective against? Against um, against electric guys. I know ground is. Is it ground or let me see moves? Ground, yeah, ground. Ground is super effective. I know that. Um, I know. So that means I have to get another ground type Pokemon. I think I have a Nido King, which could be handy. Um, actually, let's have a quick look in our PC right here and see what possibilities we might be able to have. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so we have a Nido. King right there. He's only level 23 though um, And it looked like I got that weird duplicate duplication glitch. There's our Hitmonchan that we uh, caught earlier on and um, yeah I'm getting that weird duplicate du oh, I can't even say duplication duplication gl glitch and um, but anyway, uh, what was I looking for? ground type ground type Hmm, is fighting type any good? I don't know. Um, I'll let you guys tell me in the comments. Um, I can look it up, but I'm kind of too lazy. <laughs> I'm not too lazy. I'll look it up, but um, just you guys can tell me anyway. Because um, I'll probably forget. But I don't seem to have anything in real strong in the way of ground type. I think my um, fly... Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't do this to me. My fly gone. It might be. Might actually be a good idea catching a dog trio in that case. I don't know, guys. I want you to leave a few suggestions. What worked... If if you have um, defeated the um, oh lag uh, defeated the electric gym, 
I want you to leave a few suggestions. Tell me what Pokemon you used and what levels and what kind of what was good. What did you use to defeat the gym? Um, because that'll kind of be, that'll be a real help, and I'll definitely be able to find out then. But um, yeah, so guys, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do right now. Um, I thought that was like a two D pole. What's this here? What is this? Heidi hole. Oh, this is. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm out. Um, that's someone's house. Okay. Um, anyway. Um, mm, there was something, something I wanted to look at. Uh, let's have a look in our ender chest. That's what we'll do. A quick look here, just to see what's going on. There we go. Okay, so we have Psychic, Blizzard, Venoshock, Safeguard, Focus Blast, Rock Smash. Rock Smash might be good. Earthquake. Earthquake, of course, is good. Uh, Rock Smash, I think, is a rock type, obviously, and Earthquake is a ground type, I think. I could be completely wrong there, guys, so don't quote me on that one. But let's actually get some of these drops out, and that's what we'll do. We'll just set, get rid of these drops. 20 iron ingots, and um, we'll, sell, we'll sell them. Um, blaze powder, golden ingots, just leave that apricorn there. A string, and a feather. Yeah, okay, let's go shop real quick, guys. And here we are. My FPS actually doesn't drop. Well, it drops a little. It does drop about 10 FPS, but it doesn't drop that much. And uh, let me see. What do I have? Raw beef. Yes, I have a lot of that. A lot of raw beef. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's just keep click, 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 click. Okay, we're not gonna. I know this isn't very exciting, guys, but anyway, has to be done. I have to clear out the inventory. And um, let's keep clicking until it tells us we don't have any more. There we go. Um, seed, don't have that, leather, I have lots of leather. Uh, don't have that, rotten flesh, don't have any of that, string, have a good bit of string. Uh, this, is, this is just getting, I had eight, 82,000 before this, see if I can get a full thousand here off these drops. I don't think I will be able to actually, no, 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 not a thousand. Um, no, definitely not a thousand. Ink sack, what's that say? Bone, I have bones. There we go, they're gone. Iron ingots, there we go. Tree. Mm, that's that's a hundred right there with the iron ingots. Gold nuggets, got four of them. Gunpowder, nope. Glowstone dust, no. Nope. Slime ball, apple. Blaze blaze powder, yes, have blaze powder. 17 of them, that's pretty good actually. Um, there we go, they're gone. Egg, diamond, ender pearl, wool. Okay, let's get rid of ender pearls right there and let's get rid of the wool. Um, so I had 82,000. Let me see how much I have now. Let me see. 82,000. Okay, that gave me that gave me 500, which isn't bad, guys. To be honest, that's like if that was you guys running around, you'd be able to get 500 off. You know, it's probably about that would be about three hours of drops, maybe even maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit more. Three hours of like you know collecting drops, running around, getting stuff, killing Pokemon, that kind of thing. So. 500 pa 500 dollars for 300 or three hours isn't too bad really um that's that's like uh that's like what is that like that's like 1600 an hour 1650 no uh not 1600 it's like 165 dollars an hour <laughs> um but anyway let me see um what am i looking at here i'm not really looking for anything in particular but I think I might be trying to um, wrapping up this episode now, anyway, guys, because it is time. I don't want to make too long of an episode. I I was gonna make some armor, but then I was like, meh, no real point making some armor. We'll try this parkour actually. We'll try it once or twice. Um, I have tried it, and I oh god, I know kind of how it goes already. So, um, I kind of if I look like I've done it before, it is because I have done it before. Hup. Okay, jump up here, and if you close the door on yourself, you can jump on top of the door. And then you can jump up here. And then you can jump up to here. And up to here. And up to there. Whoa. Up, up. And this bit's kind of tricky. And there it is. I, okay, we'll try one more time, and then we're, then we're ending the episode, okay? Um, hop, hop. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, that wasn't there. Uh, that wasn't... Oh, God. That wasn't a proper go. Um, let's jump again. Let's try again. Okay, no, no, we're going to be ages doing that, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so guys, that's going to be all for today. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. 
as usual, hit that like button if you did, and subscribe if you're not subscribed, guys. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.